Good evening, everyone. I'm Judge James. I'm Judge Evie. And we're starting things a little different tonight. You know, we, with everything going on right now in our country, especially with the murder of George Floyd in uh, Minneapolis and the anger and despair that's following and growing, it didn't quite seem like a night for us to be on here and be funny and zany originally. We was actually debating earlier, do we not have the show? Do we kind of wait and hold off? Uh, like a lot of people, we've been kind of glued to the news, uh, trying to watch in our community and see, you know, how people, uh, you know, are treating each other. Uh, you know, our hearts are out there with the families of everyone affected. And, you know, it's just been, it's been a tough, it's been a tough uh, series of months to begin with the pandemic. It just felt like, you know, everything happening right now, is it right for us to be having the show still tonight? and um, talked with some of my friends earlier and kind of discussed how you know people still need an outlet and need something to pick themselves up you know so we're going to do that tonight we didn't have the typical heyo because we just wanted to kind of start with this tone um, but on behalf of our very small team uh, we wanted to start off and just share some of the ways that you could extend a hand and support out there so yesterday we made a donation to the minnesota freedom fund and given how many protesters right now are being jailed and who need bail assistance, we urge you to research at your local level maybe uh, just how you can help support like your local Black Lives Matter um, chapters and organizations. But if you're looking for a national level, we were doing some research before the show and uh, we're posting a link for the bail project, the collection of donors who help post bail for those who can't afford it. We'll put that in the show, in the, the show comment notes. Um, and if anyone has any suggestions of other locations where people can donate to, uh, please, you know, put them in the comments, uh, put them in the stream chat, uh, wherever that would be much appreciated. And, and if you're surprised at all, if like this is your first time ever hearing us kind of take a bit of a, uh, a, a social justice, you know, uh, stand, you, you don't know me very well. And for, you know, several years, uh, my wife and I helped organize a group called Lawful Good Gaming, and we supported a lot of organizations, especially anti-hate organizations. And, uh, you know, we raised over $10,000 in the course of like 18 months, you know, for groups like the Southern Poverty Law Center and uh, the National, uh, is it National Immigration Law Fund. Um, uh, several groups, you know, we were trying to push back against, you know, the, the rising tide of hate in the United States. So, you know, if you like your gaming without, uh, you know, social justice and politics interjected, sorry, uh, you know, but I think that everyone needs to, to, to take a step back and, and, and do something. And even if you're just home and the most you can do is, you know, you know, help financially, that's a huge thing to do, okay? So I wanted to quote, and we're gonna go into the show and we're gonna to try to keep things light for the show. So this is not like from our end of lecture, really, you know, from our perspective, being in the position of privilege that we have, you know, um, we felt that, um, and feel like we shouldn't be the voice, we are not the voices to all of this, uh, but we wanted to make sure we said something, especially to those uh, who, who, who are watching who are watching us every week so i wanted to quote our friend shauna germain she made a quote on twitter and she said whenever i don't know what to do i try to listen more learn more and love more begin where you are and reach to do better so wherever you're sitting right now do something you know positivity and good and justice it's it, it it rolls downhill so you know even just doing a little thing right now um, you know, that can lead to a big thing. A lot of little positives lead to a big positive. So, you know, just that's how I wanted to start. And with that, we will get into the gaming. So what did we play this week? Tell us, Judge Evie, about our X-Crawl game from Tuesday. We did Dungeon Battle San Angeles, People of the Pit. How did that go? That was a while ago. That was Tuesday. It was a while ago. It wasn't that while ago. So I gotta think. How are you enjoying playing a cleric? <laughs> Oh, playing a cleric's pretty snazzy. So, who? what is that noise? I don't know. That is weird. Is that a tea delivery? <gasps> Whoa, tea. we're getting tea on the air. Yes. This is great. This is, this is the perfect <gasps> evening. I'll move the books. I'm sorry. We're getting tea. <laughs> oh, 
I have tea. Oh, Dag is the cool girl. Ow, it's gonna burn. Ow, ow, ow. Take it, take it, take it. And we burned ow. Evie. Ow, it's so hot. Um, so Dev Presser said, thank you for being ready to speak up for what's right. And uh, uh, that's sigils but quartz, which is Bad. Bab. Just text my parents to link the Minnesota Freedom Fund. Minnesota Freedom Fund, by the way, did make an announcement that they have like a, enough money uh, or they are pretty good with, with funding, but I'm sure they can take more. Uh, but I, I know I saw something saying that they were covered and there are other groups out there as well. Um, anyway, but yeah, a lot has happened. A lot has happened since Tuesday. It's been pretty busy. Um, but yeah, so cleric, you're positive on the cleric. You like playing a cleric. Mm -hmm. But you, you play a warrior in our in our Saturday game, our Lankmar game. And do you feel a, a, a significant difference in your yeah, play style? Yeah, warriors are more boring. Really? So you're yeah. finding a warrior boring? They, they used to be my jam, but now it's kind of like, I want to do spells and stuff. Well, I guess, you know, the... the what? what? Oh, you're just so close. <laughs> We're just so, so your character in, uh, I'm trying to remember now because now I'm, so you do prefer having spells of some variety? Yeah. You know, I love clerics from DCC and my favorite class in DCC, and I've never liked clerics in other games really, is, is in, my favorite class is DCC clerics, I think. I really like the wizards too, but I think the clerics and their connection uh, is interesting. Hey, Shannon, uh, how are you doing? Up oh, and Rob is on too, Savage Billy GM. We appreciate you guys being on. All right, so that was Tuesday. That's so, false. so you're all. Uh, oh, and, and Babs is Eliana is the better cleric, of which That's I false. I would uh, potentially hey! agree. I mean, higher level. All right, so so you're enjoying playing a cleric, and we're about two fourths of the way through dungeon battle mm -hmm. San Angeles. I think we might finish this oh, this yeah. Tuesday. Because we're about two, we're two levels down in People of the Pit, which is which is a, um, I don't want to see how deep it is, but it goes down multiple levels, and every game yeah, they just, go down. I'll and look, Greg here. just said so half. So I guess you can guess how many levels are in there now that Greg sort of spoiled that one. Yeah. There's four levels, okay? Wait, we have to help Greg out. Was for just because Greg said something. We have to be kind to Greg tonight. Why? Isn't it? Because it's like eleventh level cleric died. I think that's going to be something we are talking about in the Judge Eater presides. That wasn't, that wasn't a question, though. It wasn't a question? No. So we're skipping to right to this. So, yes, Greg, our good friend Greg, I think friend of the show, cleric. Greg, I lost an 11th level character. Oh, it wasn't a cleric. It was a character. I got my C's mixed up. Yeah, and it does Oops. seem petty, he says. But still, you know, I think it's, you know, anytime you lose a, a character, and our team lost a character on Tuesday night as well. Yeah, but that character... Bab 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 lost uh, their uh, their warrior. So. I don't think Bab's too sad about that. You know, as in they're not sad. They wanted that to happen. Okay, that may be. But now Justin's gonna be a cleric. Her, her their new character. No, Justin I think so. can't. Well, Bab hasn't even started making the character yet. So. Okay. Well, we have until Tuesday, so we have to do it tomorrow night, I think. Um. All right, so how about, so we played yesterday as well. We played Cheating Death yesterday. We want to test holding the adventure normally so people can read it. This is DCC Lankmar Cheating Death, a level one adventure by Tim Callahan. And we finished this this week. This will at some point end up on our Thursday night show. Not quite yet, but I really enjoy this adventure. And uh, Judge Evie. It's so boring to just hold normally. You think the adventure was so boring? No, no, no. Holding the adventure is just boring. Yeah, but this, no one could read this. Look at the well, screen. I Look at the it. screen. Look. Do you see anything? No. Why don't you just fan yourself with it? Okay. What did you think of Cheating Death, Evie? It's pretty snazzy. All right, give me more than it's pretty snazzy. It was pretty epic. It wasn't an epic <laughs> finale for you guys. <laughs> it really wasn't. Well, it could have been. Your if we party, didn't kill it really fast. Your party is quite, quite good at doing the whole hey, uh, I poisoned those chatting, cars. chatting your way through things, you know, yeah. and, and not, this is, a, this is a crew that, uh, in an adventure involving, um, you know, rescuing mingle children, you guys managed to do it without any kind of combat. So it's, it's a good group. I'm kind of bummed a little bit. We will be having to pause that game. One of our uh, gamers in the group 
um, is is will be having a baby soon, which is pretty awesome. So congrats to Cody and Shannon for being in the last months of of pregnancy and everything. Well, Shannon's in the last months of pregnancy. <laughs> Cody's not pregnant, uh, but you know that group's gonna be on pause probably because the time we can get back to that table, it'll be almost time, you know. So. Anyway, we'll be kind we'll be back to Lankmar at some point, I'm sure. Can we do that kind of thing at our game? What kind, what kind, what of, kind of thing? thing? Not 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 you know non combat. Yeah, you can do non combat yeah, in your but game. Bab, you're the one that starts talky that. stuff. We can do talky stuff. Bab, the one that doesn't do that is you. Combat sucks. Savage Philly GM. Those mingle children are always getting themselves in trouble. That's right, because it was they played the same adventure. Because I I wrote it and ran it for. Uh, for a one shot afterwards. Okay, but someone always says me collecting the stupidest stuff is never pays off. Well, your character had like dwarf danishes or something you had collected, right? Yeah. So I also collected eel poisoning, and guess what? It worked. Babs says I throw one Molotov cocktail and you blame me for everything. Shaking my head. Yeah, we do. I don't have to tell you. You ruined our reputation. All right, I should put that. That's for later. Talk about later. Um, I'll note that I'm having a bit of a return to Numenera right now. I'm kind of gotten in a Numenera mood. I think it's because I was looking for something positive and uplifting, and I always find Numenera by uh, Monty Cook Games to be a very bright, uplifting setting. So uh, after two and a half years since ending, hold that up, kind of ending prematurely our campaign in the Devil Spine, which is a mega adventure by. Um, I can't really see that by Monty Cook game by Monty Cook himself. Uh, we had done twelve sessions here in this adventure with a group, two, and we wrapped up two and a half years ago, thinking we were going to continue. And then the month it was a monthly game. The month after that, I got a told I was getting a new job, and then I was told we were, I had to move. And then that all happened, and we never got back to this game. And uh, this right yeah, now? you just put we just put it down now. Okay, it's fine. Gonna... You have the urge to just move it around? Mm-hmm. Just feels right. Uh, with all that going on, now uh, I've, I've managed to talk to that crew. I was inspired by the Purple Planet uh, renewal last week and getting back to the Purple Planet on Monday, this past Monday. Uh, you can put that there. With our group that was had done the full mega campaign a year ending a year ago, a year and a half ago, so I was inspired to get the other group. We're not finishing that adventure and bring them back and see if we can get through all of that. We only have three sessions left. I think we could do it in three sessions, and so that's that's pretty exciting. So um, and so with, with I had to start reading another adventure, which is uh, Slaves of the Machine God by Bruce Cordell. And this is another mega adventure that I've had in my shelf since, I guess it came like, what, four or five months ago, uh, my copy came. When everyone else's copy came, my copy came. And I was finally reading through it, uh, you know, about a week ago. And I think I want to run this as well. Not sure how I'm going to put that into my gaming rotation, but this is a really good adventure. It especially, I, I, I'm, I can't review it because I haven't run it, but it does a really good job of interweaving the community building rules that are shown in Numenera Destiny and putting that, injecting that into more of a traditional adventure. Plus it's Bruce Cordell and like I'm a Bruce Cordell fanboy. So, you know, there's always, always that. But this is a really cool adventure for Numenera. And if I run it, it will get reviewed. I will definitely be reviewing uh, at some point The Devil's Spine. But I run that adventure so far off the rails. And that would be a multi-part uh, uh, review probably. Probably two weeks to review. Oh, this one right now. Yes. The last thing I was going to say is now that I'm in the mood to, to, to play some Numenera, there is a possibility uh, I'd be looking to maybe towards the end of June or, or early uh, July, I might be looking at running some one-shots of Numenera online. So... You know, uh, you know, and I, I, I know I'm already recruiting with uh, Scott Woodard. Uh, we're putting together a Savage Saturday Night event. We've talked about with the SoCal Savages and the Lone Star Savages and the Delaware Valley Savages. I may look at doing something similar for uh, July and 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 maybe yeah. running an adventure out of Explorer's Keys, but sort of now inspired by uh, you know trying to be more proactive 
and be part of the community. And in the spirit of Lawful Good Gaming, I was going to see about maybe assembling a group of Cypher System GMs, maybe Numenera GMs. So I'm, I'm putting the call out here first that in July, if we could somehow put together some kind of game night that online where we were pushing to, to try to get like, you know, money for local food banks or food banks in general to help support the community. You know, so uh, to the price of admission would be proof of donation uh, to a food bank. No need to actually collect anything. Just make sure your gamers at your table have all made a donation. So I don't know. How, I'm, I'm so I, in one, in some ways, you know, doing the Savage Saturday Night Online thing is going to be a test to see if I can organize an event. Uh, but you know, if it works well, I was thinking about you know reaching out and seeing if. Uh, we could put something together in the ninth world or the strange or whatever. I know other groups are doing this. We are not like at all trendsetters, but um, I have several adventures that I love out of Explorer's Keys, and I do There's running one of those. Several adventures in here. There's a ton. I I've run several. There's ten of them in here. So there is seven. No, there's plus no. three. So my two adventures, I've, I've run Flight of the Seraph and Microfugue State out of here. So I've run two of them. several, it's just two. Well, I was, I've almost run Embassy of the Incons, uh, Inconstant Moon. So I've read it. Uh, I've also read um, Trailblazer Trials. Why is this scary? Almost, why is what? Bab said it's scary. No, Bab said that the Devil Spawn is scary. You know, the, uh, you, you guys would love Numenera. I have to, your, your, your friend would probably enjoy that game. It's bizarre and weird and creepy. Like us. Like you. How do you already drink it already? It's so hot. It's hot. Is we have no other hot questions, hot? right? So we're, we we're, have a bunch of questions from John that we're not going to read. But they're, they're not proper to be read online, especially not tonight, not with the, that tone. So let's go into, I, I just have a couple questions for Judge Evie. Like, not a long show tonight. Judge Evie, I have a question for you oh, that's, yeah. What would you say? I'm now four weeks into running this X crawl campaign, and I have X run campaign. the one we run on Tuesday nights. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Greg likes the setting for Numenera, but not crazy about the system. Really, I think the system's like super elegant yeah. and easy. Wow. My finger hurts from my teeth. My soul hurts from from Greg's comment. No, we're supposed to be nice uh, to Greg. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Greg. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Rob says, you know how the hipster burned his tongue? He drank coffee before it was cool enough. Nice. What? Never mind. Um, wait, wait, no, I'm going to get it. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're not. You're not going to get it. You're not. All right. So, wait, wait, I've wait. run so, I've run about 15 games. <gasps> I yeah. thought it was hipster. And yeah. Then, um, Oh I've about 15 gosh. games of DCC, one game of D&D 5e uh, for your friends, all your all your teen friends. We even have 15 DCC games. We've had four, like 14 DCC games, I think, total. We had four from this game and like maybe 10 sessions of the last game. Oh. You know, the one where you guys, shrubs. Eliana and the Shrubs. The shrubs. Yeah. What do you think, so as a, gro I was a 41-year-old, uh, game master and judge. What do you think I need to inject more of into our games? You know, and and, and Bab, you're online, so I asked the question to you as well. You're the one referring to me as Mr. Jimothy. But what do I need to inject more of in your games? Do you really want to have more conversations and more chatting? Uh, or do you do you want to have more battles and fighting? not more battles? Not so more battles. not more battles. No, because now we can use our beautiful acting skills. Which acting skills? We have acting skills. Okay. Like, I have great acting skills. And so does Bev. Okay. Mm hmm Role-play-y talky stuff, Bab says. You want more talking. Yeah. Okay. So more talking in our DCC x -Crawl campaign. Is this also just probably an excuse for Bab to say a bunch of random stuff? Yes. Because I don't know how to role play, and I want to be able to do, to be better. Okay, that's a, and that's okay, a good. That's another reason. But also the the one last. Yeah, Greg says puzzles. What about puzzles? Those would be snazzy. You think we had the we had, I think it was this game. What game was it? I don't know. I think we played. It was a PAX, at the Savage, 
was it the Savage Night thing? Sa- it was yes. A Bre- no, yes. it was a Brendan's game. Well, Brendan's game was also X Crawl, right? I don't know what game it was, but there were puzzles in it. Was it the one where you played? I it? don't know. I think Bab will remember. Because I don't remember anything. This is not a 90 day fiance crossover. <gasps> so we are that. not doing that. Why not? We are not. Yeah, yeah, Rin, the game with Rin. Yeah. Right? That was Savage Saturday was it Night. The puzzle game? Yeah, and it was written by Rob. Because Rob, Savage Philly GM, wrote that adventure. So just to put this out there, at the Savage Saturday Night at PAX Unplugged, uh, uh, you know, uh, one of the so Rob uh, Savage Philly GM uh, helped us coordinate the event and was one of the GMs at the event. And for new GMs, he wrote an adventure. If they wanted to run that adventure and and be able to run and participate at uh, Savage Saturday Night as a GM, and so Rin was the GM and uh of that game and i'm being told now by bab that was brendan's game because he texted timbo what does that mean (laughs) i know there was positive feedback on both adventures so do you i don't know yeah all right so you guys want to see more have more conversations yeah acting skills acting skills Mm -hmm. okay more role play you know so how do you let me ask you this question then even your your proposed Oh, Bab misses Rin. They were so nice and they threw dice at me. That's very sweet. Um, Rask, I'm sorry, it's another Rob. Does anyone know where Dennis Singmaster is? Uh, he ran a fantastic ETU game. I know he just got married. He's been pretty absent. Actually, uh, uh, Rob, he just joined the Walls Dungeon Tavern on Discord. So just yeah. saying, he's over there. Uh, when? This past week. He got dragged, yeah. Mike dragged him over. So he's on there. So there's he does exist. Yay. Um, all right. So let me ask you this question, okay? Because oh. you know, uh, what is your take then? The fact that you you guys seem to really like DCC, and that's the game you profess to be your game of games, and yet that's a game that's really more designed for hack and slash. How would you answer that question? Like, how do you put? You really want to have more role play experiences, but you're a DCC aficionado. How's that work? Well, they can have both. Okay. Well, well, how? How do you think they have the the mechanics aren't really there for both, aren't they? Well, if um that little all of my DCC games are like no combat, like whatsoever, like none, like okay. there's like two, and I just do the role play e stuff with puppets, so it does work. So, so Bab says the D&D spell system is stupid and we're all stupid, chaotic idiots. Which system is stupid? The D, like in 5th edition? Stu- which, which is stupid? Wait a minute. Which is stupid? Wait, Bab, yeah, what's, what's Are you stupid? talking D&D 5e? Are you talking DCC? Oh, Bab wouldn't dare. Is Bab talking bad <gasps> DCC? Bab wouldn't dare. Maybe Bab needs to play a different game. We just <gasps> bought them off... Bab, Bab hates the spell system. The D&D oh, okay, one. Okay, good. Okay. okay, okay, not DCC. How different is the 5e oh. spell system from DCC? I don't know. Is yeah, it Bab. That different? I don't know. I, don't know. I know DCC Bab, has the answers. Yeah, man, that's crazy. What's the difference? That's crazy. I thought that was a good choice. We may have to run, you know what? Maybe we'll run some one shots of different games after we finish this uh adventure. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. What? Not 5e. Nope, nope. I'm not going to run 5e. Are you kidding? I'm not allowed to. <laughs> it's not legal for me to run 5e in, in 49 states. <laughs> I can only run 5e if I'm in Hawaii. What? That's how it works. No, it's not. Why would you run it in Hawaii? Because I'd be on vacation. Why would you want to do... Spend, I guess I'd be on vacation in any other states. Why would you want to spend your vacation in Hawaii? Oh, they hate cantrips and spell slots. And that's true, Andy. No system is like DCC magic system. Yeah, it's so snazzy. I don't know. If I asked Andy the question, though, here about whether or not, you know, um, how this crew would enjoy a different magic system. You know, I, I will say that I, I think the Shadow of the Demon Lord magic system is uh, is quite good. And so is the Cypher system magic system. Is Andy the one that was playing Feast of Legends? Yes, Andy's playing Feast of Legends. Uh... You haven't forgotten Andy already, have you? 
No, I just didn't know which who was playing it. Andy's playing Feast of Andy is in a fa- <laughs> Feast of Le- Legends campaign, the the official Wendy's role play game. So, that's that's tough. <laughs> All right, so 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 what? So you want to see me add more role playing? Yeah. Okay. Um, if if given the choice, and again, I'll open this question to you and Bab. When we have a situation where we can have people over again, we can always sit Bab behind us. You know. <gasps> Bab wants to be on the show. I don't know. So I, I cannot get this to work with Zoom. I cannot get Bab OBS and Zoom and Twitch to work together. So much. I can't. Friggin' figure it out. Bab I can't said figure it out. That they're gonna be a fan favorite, and that everyone's gonna ask for Bab. I think. Well, uh, it Bab would be a more lively months. show. The thing it if really Bab was. was in the show is that their heyo would involve decking me in the teeth. It'd be like a. I could go this way, and Bab could go this no. way. No, no. Okay, okay. Anyway, what was I saying now? I don't uh, know. I don't. I... It's easy. All right, so you want to see more role play in your games. Yeah. And more mm-hmm. opportunities to act. Mm-hmm. Okay. A is there anything else that you think that should be in the games? Even in our game. Puppets. Not... No. With the frog. Where's the frog? Where's the frog? Where's the frog? We do not need more puppets in our games. Us. We do not need more puppets in our games. Oh, here he I is. think we should move on to the next segment. It's already 927. Look, he's right here. No? Okay. I think we're good. Oh my gosh! Double trouble. I'm not trouble. No, no. He, he's saying, "Reading, I'll be on your show and not physically assault you in that any way." <laughs> and Rob wants to know, well, "I'm going to do a, a X crawl podcast. You do an X crawl podcast. I don't have time for that. I got I got limited time, guys. You know, I mean, if you got two weekly games going on right now, I've got two weekly shows going on right now." Like, come on. How much do you want me to do? And I had the Every Other Week Lankamar game. And now I'm trying to finish The Devil's Spine. And then Cooper goes back there and we play on, uh, we play back there, uh, our, our Deadlands game. Which, sadly, we took down all the Dwarven Forge. It's all gone. Now it's a marble racing set. And Rob wants more Glowburn. Well, you're going to have to wait, buddy. Sorry. Go listen to the old ones again. They're better. Um, the old ones, old ones. Before I was on. What's there were little there were some glow burns that I wasn't on, and it's a better show. That's not true. It is. Uh, all right, we're gonna wrap this up then, okay? I think this is good. Okay. I, I think you know, we, we will take questions though. Remember, Judge Evie presides is uh DCC Judge Evie at gmail.com. We would love more questions. If we got enough questions, we could do like an all Judge Evie episode part three or something like that. Part two, part two or something like that. Part two. And uh, that would be great. Oh wait. I have questions that I can actually answer. That goes for John, too. Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, Kickstarter shout-outs. I don't have any right now. I'm not actively backing any I Kickstarters. Oh, what? No, I don't ha- no, because the, the, the Empire of the East just ended. So, if you have any ideas for Kickstarters we should be looking at, please let me know. Um uh, I will I will take a look and and jump in maybe at least I'll share them but I don't know of anyone on that are in at least my sphere if it's not you know at this point uh, Cypher System Sa- uh, Savage Worlds uh, DCC MCC or Demon Lord I don't know or Dwarven Forge I know the new Dwarven Forge Kickstarter is coming out soon like the Wildlands or something like that that's all I need is more of that. Um, Empire of the East ended yesterday. I did not see what it ended up at. I did not look. If someone wants to comment, please toss that in. It's a bunch of good 5E ones. Well, they're, they're, you can't say great 5E ones. Great and 5E <laughs> can't be in the same sentence. 31,000 for Empire of the East. Not bad for, for, a, for, a, for that. Road Crew shoutouts. I have a couple of those. So DCC Day is uh, Saturday uh, ju- online. I'm sorry, Saturday J- uh, June thirteenth, and DCC Days online is going to be uh, where is it here? Uh, Thursday June eleventh through Sunday June fourteenth. I believe the signups are on for tomorrow, and I have two events on there myself: Neon Nights twenty thirty seven, which is Neon Nights. M- mashed with X crawl, mashed with 
Cyber Sprawl Classics. And I'm running Dun Judge Eve and I together are running Dungeon Battle Delco together. So you get to watch and experience that whole craziness that Sunday of the convention. So if anyone's out there and wants to um, to to play, you can, tomorrow sign up for for all the events. All right, and that would be pretty awesome. Uh, the other thing is uh, you're going to start seeing signups for Savage Saturday Night Online uh, that the Delaware Valley Savages, SoCal Savages, and Lone Star Savages are putting on together. There are nine events posted right now. Uh, and some seats are getting grabbed. I'm running Deadlands Lost Colony. Uh, and that's a full table right now, but you know that could change pretty quickly. So, uh, but definitely be on the lookout for that. We'll be posting that on Facebook. Uh, you know what, I will make a note to post a link for that as well uh, on in the chat. So you can at least take a look at the events. Um, the other thing is Thursday night review this week by demand. I'll be reviewing a mutant crawl classics adventure, and I'll be reviewing Children of the Fallen St uh, Sun by uh, Stephen oh, Newton, which I ran this at PAX Unplugged 2018, 2018, my first PAX Unplugged, and really great mutant crawl classics adventure. It was kickstarted separately. Uh, just a wonderful adventure. I, I, I really had a good time with it. And you're going to see, this is another one of those adventures kind of uh, like uh, this hit all of the the notches that I looked for, the check marks that I looked for that um, In It 5 points did. It's so much more in there than just an adventure. It packs a lot of other tools and tidbits you can use in future campaigns. So if you like Meet and Crawl Classics, that's a really good adventure to get. But I'll be talking about it on Thursday night. So where you can find us, Judge Evie. Oh, you have to do this now. Um, at I live for crits on Twitter, living for crits on Instagram, and search living for crits on YouTube. So everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, stay together, and in lieu of uh, our outro ASMR uh, tonight, we're just gonna, I'm just going to say tonight, Black Lives Matter. All right. So take care of each other, please, and look out for one each other. All right. Thanks. <laughs>